come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie, the movie review podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. And Colin's not. Not. No, no Colin not. wasn't ready last week either. He made that same mess up last I'm week. Say, we're, we're the movie not. that's coming every we're week. Not we're not sometimes. Yeah. Like, we're, it's, you know, you know it's life, the day we're not. Life is crowded. Yeah, that's right. Very crowded. Sometimes we're not. Yeah. We'll get there. It's because we're being followed all over the place. Ooh. So. Ooh. Maybe you nice. want to be Chase one of those who follows us. Find us on our socials if you want to follow us. I feel like Holly's in a mood. <laughs> yeah, a lot of that a lot of that tonight <laughs> you may be wondering who these people are who are talking to you and i'll tell you they're the internet radio superstar holly michaela sean and i'm colin and tonight we watched the movie that was chosen by sean please do tell us why we're about to have a thorough conversation about sex <laughs> uh, we, really, yes. we really are we really are because tonight we watched 2014's it follows. Ooh. You couldn't wait till next year. Huh? It couldn't. No. <laughs> you know what, Michaela? It couldn't. And and and. You like a nine, a nice nine. No, yeah, I like yeah. no because everyone yeah. else is gonna do it. Everyone else is gonna do it. <laughs> oh, so you're this is your way of getting you ahead get of them. Okay. You gotta get there first. And luckily, so, luckily, finger on the pulse. Okay, luckily, so, I did because. So what? I want to. Yeah, I want to pull the day uh, after. The the yes. Day I after. announced this last week that we wanted to do this movie, <laughs> yes. and the next day. It, they follow is coming out. We get they the news. They follow is coming. 2024. No less than 24 hours no after you No less than 24 it. hours. Yes. Yeah. Dude, how do you feel? Yeah. I feel like I got a deep you should finger a, in that pulse. You should buy a lotto <laughs> ticket, Sean. Man. Probably. You know? yeah. but this happens too often where I have bought a lotto ticket and nothing has happened, so I'm going to skip it this time. So, but gotcha. wow. Precious. I, I, I yeah. really wanted, when I brought this tonight, I really wanted to, I felt like it was like time to... For me, like I wanted to rewatch It Follows, and I figured, like, yeah, it's you've time. Been, you've abstained for t- for long enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. there you go. <laughs> Lots of I sex had, puns. It was, a conscious, <laughs> it was a conscious abstinence. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, uh-huh. so I had abstained from it because I was like, oh, we could watch it. I want to give it a little mm-hmm. time because mm-hmm. I wanted to revisit it because mm-hmm. I did like this movie when it came out in 2014, mm-hmm. and but we have come a long way since then, mm-hmm. um, and so I wanted to get back into it. Uh, and when I announced it, I mean, like uh, Colin says, he hasn't seen it in a while. I don't mm-hmm. know how long yeah, it's been. No, since you, guys I, it. you watch this. I every watch year, this apparently. every year because the, my husband loves this. Movie. I really so, know. Yes, yeah. It's probably been since yes. fourteen that I saw it. Right. Oh. Yeah. So we have many different yeah. perspectives on when mm-hmm. we last saw it. Are we just assuming everybody listening to this show has seen it? Follows. Well, we're gonna assume for this episode that you know how this goes. Well, yeah, right. we're, we're gonna spoil it. Assume it because yeah. when this comes out. This is after the announcement of They Follows yeah. coming in 2024 with a, d- a returning director yeah. of David Robert Mitchell, I believe, yep. is, yeah. and Micah Monroe. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they yes. are coming back they, for a sequel. They know point. the drill. We're going to spoil the shit out of it. Yes. Yeah. So if you haven't seen it, now's your chance. Watch it first. Oh, you've had right. nine years. Um, yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to get everybody in a fervor of going back to rewatching it. Because what's mm-hmm. everybody going to do when they announce a sequel to something 10 they years later? It. They're going to rewatch right. that first yeah. one. Here's, I think so we should set the stage here of what horror was like in 2014. Ooh, because I, go- like? because yeah, I Googled it because I was right. like, I remember my feelings seeing this movie in the theater for the first time. Okay. And yes. yeah, wow. When you look at the rest of the year, no shit. This movie I want this context. No. As above, so below. Okay. I saw that. Oh, I, was, I didn't see it. Yeah. I didn't want to see yep. it. I, saw it I actually kind of okay. dug that one. Uh, yeah. the, the taking okay. of Found de- footage. Yeah. Yeah. European. No. No. It takes place. Well, it takes place in, in, no, in no, the catacombs. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. no, no, it's American, yeah. but it yeah. takes place yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is okay. the catacombs. Yeah, yeah. Um, the taking of Deborah Logan, which is actually okay. okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. Deliver us from evil, which was really bad. Yeah. Creep. The Babadook oh, right. was it was the best thing that year probably. Yeah. Um, the Town that Dreaded Sundown remake. Okay. Ooh, good movie. Uh, good movie. That Eli Roth movie, Clown. Oh, Ooh, well, remember he produced that? It. He yeah. Produced it. yeah. Uh, oh. Tusk. Tusk. Oh shit! I went to the yep. fucking theater yeah. to see Tusk. Uh, the Pyramid. Um, a girl happy. walks home alone at night. So like, we're starting okay. to see okay. like prestige horror break away from like. It's really kind of separate. The lines are a, the lines more, are being drawn in the sand right, right now, more, right? You more know, definition more because that's a. I would say a girl walks home alone and is a very prestigey 
That's an art house. I don't, sure. I don't even know if I yeah. consider it a horror movie, to be honest. Like, it's yeah. no. well, kind I mean, of a, a lot drama, of them, but... it seems like this where, like, I was actually surprised. I had forgotten when it started. Tonight. Unfriended also came out this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. But so it's still that found footage thing, yes. and then yes. these kind of. The quote unquote elevated horror movies. I was shocked that this didn't have an A24 logo on it. Uh, <laughs> right? How did A24 not come it to It seems this? like, right. It seems like this is an A24 movie that's not made by A24. Uh, this is the best horror movie in over a decade, according to <laughs> boingboing.net. <and> it's <laughs> we had to boing, all right, boing, all right. Behind the scenes, we discussed this a little bit before the podcast. <laughs> Just because it came from boingboing.net. Yep. It's boing boing. We figured we had to feature it. Uh, this movie was hailed as, uh, I'm reading it, amazing and a classic, and mm. there were just people fawning all over it. Nothing, which is, nothing short of amazing. Right. An right. instant classic. Right. Which is why I wanted to bring it back this far later on. We are coming up on the 10th. Tenth anniversary, so it, I want to be like, so how do we feel about it now? Yeah, because like I mean, I said, I in the context remember, of other twenty fourteen movies, right. I see the where they're coming. But from. even back oh, then, yeah. they were, brought us very yeah. far. This one did better on its second week, I think, than it did on its first. The, there was word a of word mouth. of mouth that mm-hmm. followed this movie around. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I think like the marketing blitz actually kind of hit like after it came out, mm-hmm. and it was all over. Had a really good social media market. It really did later. And then people that like I know who don't normally go to see horror movies would go see this movie and then tell me you know, that they'd seen it. it was yeah. like, Colin, you should see this movie. Yeah. No, I, had already, I saw it. Like, no, that's you know, what I'm saying. It's yeah. like yeah. regular people like, Colin, you should see yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And you're like, what it. is happening? Yeah. This is a <laughs> legitimate phenomenon. Okay, so yes. best horror movie of the uh, the, of the new year. decade. Oh, well, it says um, in a decade. In a so decade. it's retroactively saying yeah, up until to 2014. 19, uh, to which 2004. They, you know, 2004 to 2014. There was, I was a not lot, a great right, time. There was yeah. a lot 10 years prior yeah. where you could just be like, this is a really good one. Put mm-hmm. it on the top. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to have to eventually talk about like what the critics were seeing, why that this one stood out to them. But um, so uh, Robert. Uh, uh, David Robert Mitchell. David Robert Mitchell had only done one film prior to this. And I think he did one film after this. Yeah, right? what's yeah this? he's did only he done quit the industry Under the Silver Lake, which I, was five years ago. Did you see it? Right. No, uh, is it no, good? it starred Andrew Garfield. I didn't see it because yeah. it didn't look like it looked like an exploration of L.A. culture in a weird way mm-hmm. when it came out at the time. I wasn't too interested in it, so I've never seen it. Yeah. What was the one he did before this? Or maybe he did two, but he at least Ooh, did. I'll look. Well, I was just curious if you'd seen him, but it, he's not a horror movie guy. No, no, not necessarily. He's got like four whole credits on IMDb. That's it. And yeah. I, that's why I looked him up today. I was like, what is he doing? Like, Which is, is he fine? Yeah. Because if he wants to think about his next project and put him, you know. But you got to strike while that iron's hot, baby. And like, I'm sorry, <laughs> doing doing Under the Silver like four years after it follows does not mm-hmm. seem like the best career move. Like, True. you, you got to go all the right. way. Has he, you know? has he spent all this time working on uh, They yeah, Follow? Exactly. Exactly. Like I it, it did a short uh, in 2002 called Virgin. He did. Uh, no. It looks like a feature called The Myth of the American Sleepover in 2010. Oh, I okay. heard of that one. Right. Yeah. And then four years later, it follows. So yeah. yeah and then Under the Silver and Lake, and that was years five years ago. Silver Lake. Yeah. So like he is taking his time. That's a, is he like a trust fund baby that doesn't have to work or something? Like is this just like a hobby for him? Like I I don't understand how like you do this Good and questions. they just don't work. Right. Like because it's not even like he's been doing TV in the meantime yeah. or something. There's right. literally nothing else. It's well, like then, what is he up? To? I mean, has he been working on They Follow for this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> if he has, I have better expectations. For yeah. yeah. Well, you remember the guy, I think we did uh, Upstream Color and we did uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Primer or Primer and that guy. Like, Is that Shane Car- Caruth? Yeah, Shane Caruth. Caruth yeah. Yeah. He only like Did he do Under and... the Skin too? No. No, that no. was my other. Okay. But he did He did a few other things and then he got canceled, I think, at a yeah. certain point. Oh, did he? I remember I that was the first time I saw Amy Simmons. 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 Yeah, it was in... Uh, his movie and she mm-hmm. like has gone mm-hmm. on to do right. a bunch of stuff did we watch i know i've watched upstream color based on your recommendation we didn't do it here oh right? maybe we didn't no we did primer no, we, we, did. Okay. we did primer here yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. uh yeah. that's a weird one but it's still in the keeping True. of the same you know art house kind of thing that uh, this comes from so um it follows mm. is an std movie crossbred with the ring with a little bit of John Carpenter definitely music yes. oh, and it is cinematography. A love letter to John it is Carpenter. yeah, there's very much John Carpenter in this. I would say cinematography from the first shot. 
Yeah. Is it? It's, it's a love letter. It looks Carpenter. like that yeah. shot from Halloween. Yeah. That's like mm-hmm. October I know. Very much I, I know so. there yeah. are many places around the Midwest where you can claim like, oh, this this looks like that. This looks like Illinois. Mm-hmm. This, and when it looks like Illinois, it looks like John Carpenter. It looks mm-hmm. like Halloween. You but the thing vibe. is. You watch Halloween and it doesn't really look like no, Illinois. No. Everything's green and there's palm trees yeah. in that movie. I mean, it does uh, not well, look like okay. Illinois. Yeah. You know, like, aside yeah. from that. Yeah. The but, this is, to, but, that yeah. sh- but that shot panning over to like the colonial, like it's yeah. very, yes. it's very Halloween. Right. Because yeah. if you, right. And, but in, if you live in Illinois, you know that you can walk down a street mm-hmm. and be like colonial. Uh, something uh, this architecture is different. Like every yeah, house is a trees. different architecture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of trees and everything. Mm-hmm. Sidewalks. Mm-hmm. But we should say this is actually Detroit, Michigan. Right? Yes. Michigan, yes. So it's close, but close uh, it's the Midwest. Yes. Uh, and yeah. it definitely mm-hmm. has that kind of flavor to it. Um, Indeed. What year? Yeah, that, is this supposed to? Yeah, be? when? Yes. What and what season? And what? Yeah, this all, yeah. all years, <laughs> all seasons. I have a. Th- theory that this is just meant to disorient you yes and like that's the only purpose it's, it, it it's meant to to you to not be able to pin down right to okay. not know what it is where it he is he read an interview okay. with the director and he said this was like what was going on because we see think, people well, wearing I think you summer can, clothes i think you can get that from the movie clothes. because I, it may come out as confusion Mm-hmm. As to where we are, but yes, okay. that is purposeful. So yeah, so it doesn't yeah, date all, the movie, right? Basically, so it doesn't date the movie. All ten years from now, like cars are from whatever era because yeah, a new, they're all old muscle cars right. though, and the, station wagons. At the very beginning, it's very modern. Like the car she drives off yeah. is a very modern. Yeah, like, the cop car is modern cop. Yeah, car. modern cop car and all that stuff. But there's but like she's the v- she's dressed very like eighties to go on her date, but yeah. then like other people right. standing in line are like wearing but that like but that can modern Nikes, right? But that can all be dismissed to style. Yeah, because anytime yeah. they start like all whoever, the movies yeah. are classic movies, everything is black and white. They're ancient movies. Like yeah. they, they're, from even when they're is in there, yeah. they're watching. They're going TV. to see charade at the movie theater. Yeah. Like yeah. It, that's is, like the most recent movie in yeah. the in the movie. Right. Yeah, they are seeing it at like a, a music box type. Yeah, thing. yeah, they have a a retrospective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. it's like it's like a movie palace. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, man, but, but again, this is a sold out showing of this fucking movie. Damn. But I mean, but it feels like as we know around here, like they would advertise that and be like, it would be a big event where it would be sold out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but and, everything uh, is meant to be kind of that. No cell like, phones. Yeah, no, no. But no there's an e reader. But a, but a clamshell e reader. Give almost me this e reader. Clamshell e reader. Where can I buy this? Yeah, I'm. I want <laughs> it. Like I want a little was clamshell e reader. Birth control clamshell. It's, thing? It, no, it, it, it was no, not. But <laughs> I understand what you're saying because it looks like. Yeah, just a clamshell. they also That's make mirrors. No, yeah, this pro, which is probably what it actually is. Yeah, this like seashell shaped mirror compact thing was huge in the 80s and 90s. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like I had them, my this mom had them. Yeah, it's right? a compact. Like it can have powder in it. Yeah, but yeah, right, this right. was like a big thing back it's then. Cool, yeah. so it's like a two-screen. Like I love it. Right? I want no. it. Which, yeah, which, which if you look at it, it's got Wi-Fi. It's got a battery. Yeah, it's just mm. like okay. But so we never see anybody technology. using a cell phone. No, nope. no, we no. just see her using her little There's no, reader. Uh, There's landline TVs. Though. There are very landlines. There, yeah, it's all tube TVs, and there's nothing bigger. It is 2000. 14 when so this, this is a very out. conscious, conscious, uh, conscious choice to mm-hmm. actually yes. like not date the movie in any yes. kind of way. Um, and yeah, they're wearing uh, clothes for one season and then for, the next. Uh, yeah, yeah. For yeah. we think time. it's fall. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's really, yeah, and or it's supposed to be close like to fall. every yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, you know, like whenever it's green, there's leaves. It's mm-hmm. fall. The the color is healthy. So they're wearing winter coats. Yeah. They're wearing right. winter coats, but, she was but just then they go swimming. to the beach the same day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Welcome and, to Illinois. Yeah. And the uh, the movie starts off with a girl who is like it's a you know it's a very John Carpenter yeah uh, you know lockdown camera angle and I think it just does like a three sixty right it does, follows yeah. her she runs around mm-hmm. and so who is this girl and what is following her we don't know we don't know she runs out of her house and 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 she runs into the middle of the street and yeah. she's just looking at camera which she, is slowly and yeah and she's very. She's like wearing her undergarments it with, feels high, with like, high heels. Yeah, it feels like yeah. it's like it a walk of shame outfit. Like a but oh, well, it almost so, yeah. feels like a rush out of your house. Yeah. moment. Right. Yeah. I don't. Uh, it looks. I, I don't understand why she would be wearing the heels. Only shoe she had, I guess, but it was her house. Right. So well, that's what makes it feel like it was well, it, rush. it really, yeah. it really looks like she just like took off her dress from the night before, and that's all she got off. Yeah, right. like yeah, it was, yes. and then she had her undergarments and her heels still on, and she ran out of the house. Right, that's the point I think like. vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you for know, sure, not not ready for what's happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so she runs out in the middle of the street, and she's it's it, it, looking at camera, mm-hmm. which is right in the middle of the street with her, 
and you hear um I, I really like this you hear like people coming out of the house like uh, her dad are you okay mm-hmm. that was the yeah. second door opening so there was a door open before that that Did? she was staring at, mm-hmm. and then it sounded like her dad came okay. up. Okay, yeah. So there's that. Like yeah. the sound is. Oh, I didn't even helps. catch that. Yeah, there yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. See that because she too. she's looking at something and then yeah. she like runs circles well, around it or whatever. And then her her neighbor's like taking in her groceries and she's like, Are "You okay? okay? Do you need mm-hmm. any help? Do you need help? Yeah. Yes. And while she's paying attention to something, which and so you know, as the viewer, you're just like, "All right, what, what you know, what the hell's going on? Yeah." So we got that, and we got questioning going from that, and she's just running around. She's running around the camera, the camera being whatever is mm-hmm. following her at this point. <laughs> and she makes a trek around, past her dad, runs in to get the keys, comes back out, gets in the car, and drives off. To yeah. the ocean. Mm-hmm. To, the, uh, to the lake. To the lake. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, to lake the lake Michigan, most point. likely. Yeah. And, then, uh, and has a, you know, like, so, it's that kind of... Uh, she knows that she's going to die. Mm-hmm. Phone call yes. with her, her dad. Apologize. I love this shot because it's a really wide shot. And she's just like yeah. crouched down on the beach and like in the headlights of her car. Yes. Like yeah. very small in the frame talking to her dad. But like, like the way the audio is mixed, it's very like, like kind of loud. Re- there's like a reflection of the moon on the there wall. Is, yeah. I, the lighting. Yeah. Beautiful. Because really, there is just it's one of those way in the background. Just like way yeah. 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 But just But just randomly on a part of the lake behind mm-hmm. her. Yeah. Well, the cinematography is really nice. It's very nice. Nice. Is, I really, really do is. like the cinematography. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, I can't remember the gentleman's name, but mm-hmm. uh, right. No, I am. Yeah. Yeah. I looked it up, and uh, I think he had also done right. We say he did old and us, and has since gone on to do right. other things. Right. Um, Mike G- Giolacus. Giolacus. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Um. So and then she, but we, 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 so, there's a shot cut to her like right at the very beginning then, yes. of like her on the beach. Her legs are broken. She's bloodied. Was she sexually assaulted? That is not known slash, I don't think, a question we have at this point. Okay, so this movie is about a sex demon, right? That no one else can see except the victim and the previous victim. Not off the bat. And it follows you around. It just walks straight at you, apparently just walks. It won't run, do anything else, and it will chase you down until it catches you, and it will kill you. And how does it kill you? What happened to her? Yeah. We don't know. Well, she's dead. I, I mean, she's, she's, yeah. she's, she's dead. very much dead. She's very yeah. much dead. Her so knee is bent backward. That always makes me uncomfortable. It, I hate yeah. the knee bent backwards the wrong and, way. Well, it makes yes, me itchy. Yeah. I don't well, like and she's, it. she's got dead face. Like, yeah. her eyes are open. She's she blue. Really she's, but, she's dead. So, all right. Yeah. So, after this, what we know is that she is a person that has been, is being stalked by something. She's afraid of something. She's been stalked by something. Mm-hmm. She knows something's coming after her. And it feels like where she ends up at the front. Uh, at the beach with you know the headlights of her own car on her, there's a desperation and that she has reached almost an end, right. almost based on that she's at the edge of a lake where she can't really go any farther. Yeah, you can tell just by her like her um, conversation, her, 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 yeah, her conversations with her overall tone, like she's yes. given up. Like it is the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like whatever is happening. Like there has been a lot that happened. To this yeah. point. Whatever so it's foreshadowing happened, yeah. for what's yes. going to eventually, we're going to watch our main character right. end up yeah. in We are this. giving a very short version of what is yep. going to happen to our main character. Okay, that's not a bad setup. No, it's for a good. movie Because you're like, what happened? And, you know, whatever. Right. Because it yeah, raises a lot solid. of questions it's that you want answered. And then we're going to get more characters who are going to the And we're going to have so many more questions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so our main character is uh, Mike and Monroe. Mike this and Monroe. Her first movie. The first one anyone would know her from, yeah. I think, because she went from this. She did went on to do the guest. The guest is really good. The you guest I like. That one out, yeah. I like a lot. She also went Adam on Wingard, to do... I think before he yes. went Godzilla yeah. before and he went. You yeah. may remember her from Significant no, Other, which we did on this show. show. I was going to say for me, I think my Micah Monroe Holy Trinity is oh. is it follow Significant Other and, and Watch her. Yeah. yeah, I think that's yeah. like yeah. the, yeah. the, the Holy watch her, which was yeah. really good, which we yeah. talked no. about on our end of year episode because we all serious. love. Yeah. Right. Micah, yeah. Micah Monroe has been doing good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. Genre but she's stuff. also done something bad. Yeah. We're what? looking at you. <laughs> that movie. Independence what? Day Research. Oh, oh, she 
<laughs> yeah. oh, she played the no president's idea. daughter or whatever in Independence Day Resurgence. <gasps> it was, but she was following. And you guys are the, traumatized uh, by that movie. The, yeah. the well, Mia we Wachowska. hate that movie. Yeah. She's I under- fine. She's I understand good. that we hate this movie, but if I'm an actor and I'm offered the part in, in the new yeah. Independence Day, yeah. I'm taking it. No, right, because she's up and coming. It's understandable what the actors get. Yeah, that's going to be like your big break into Hollywood sure. filmmaking. Yeah, no, because so you got to do the it. big ones and the small ones. Yeah. You have to. Because yeah. I keep thinking it's like the Mia Wachowski, Musowski, what's her the, name? The, but she like did Alice in Wonderland. She mm-hmm. picked the good one. But she's uh, mostly done like independent or lower. Yeah. You know, it's not she hasn't gone Marvel. And right. neither has is? Micah Monroe. M- uh, Mia Wachowski. She did. Wachowski. Uh, yeah. oh, you say you keep Alice saying uh, Matrix and, people. Uh, Wachowski's, yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She's done some great stuff. She did uh, Jane Eyre. She did, and, yeah, like all yeah, sorts of. I've seen, yeah, yeah, I've seen her something. She did Crimson Peak. Like, yeah, she's some great. Right. Stuff. Oh, yeah, she was in Stoker. Stoker yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Did anybody right. see Villains? That Bill no, Skarsgård movie with Michael Monroe. I want to see. I want to see that yeah. movie because it's also got uh, Bill Skarsgård. Yeah. What's her name? The other one, the lady. <laughs> oh, I loved that movie. The, the lady yeah. that really <laughs> narrows it down. <laughs> Villains, no, I loved um, that. Yeah, oh, was it good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm looking. Was it, are, are was you talking Monroe or the other? Or, uh, it was Michael Monroe. That's why I brought it, it up. Yeah. Okay. It's Michael Monroe and Bill yeah. Skarsgård. That's, that's why I, I asked see. if you guys had seen. No, it. no you guys, you guys should watch yeah. that. It's really good. No, it looked good. Yeah. yeah. So she and her friends were introduced to like a little, uh, you know, I mean, it's a little group of neighborhood friends, right? It seems like they all yeah. kind of. This feels very. Uh, Midwest to me, right? Yeah. Like Very Midwest. the neighbor kids you hang out with. Yep. It's also the. Uh, it feels like the uh, a transitional group of kids who are going. It, it is a high school to college transition. Yes, like it, awkward times. Awkward times where things you yeah. don't kind of know what's going on. Well, because maybe you yeah. don't know what you're going to do with your life. You're off on these different. Because our ma- our main girl is like clearly like she's just gone to college, and then she's got her like sibling, her little sister, yeah, and right. her and friends that are like close to her age that are still in high school, right? And- but she. He's going off onto more adult things yeah. like dating older men, yeah. 21 yeah. year olds old as yeah. the the guy Hewitt. But it's so. also they're doing that classic like Midwest smallish city thing yeah. where you go everyone goes to the community college. Yeah. So it's like high school part two. It, yeah. it just feels it, like the yes, next step, you know? Is, yes. Which but we all we all went through that. They didn't <laughs> really feel like like, you know, when we're setting this up, it's like it, they don't feel like movie teens. Really. No, I they mean, these feel like real people. Like yeah. I mean they have like uh, I don't know uh, I don't know how to describe it I mean ultimately that they all kind of band together to try and like save you know one of them is you know yeah. it's well, like I mean, they're just we're, yeah because we get the impression that these sisters like their mom is not reliable she's not really around there's not no really parents seen. when she, yeah. when she right. is there they like purpose. shoot her in a way that you really never get like mm-hmm. and you just, purposeful you, you never yeah. see her you, she is in uh, she's like Charlie Brown's mom yeah she's featured but never fully yeah. seen yeah. face you get wise. a scene where you just see like she's sleeping but she's still wearing her shoes and there's like an yeah. open blo- bottle of wine yeah. and, like, right, so right. She's, there's a even lot when she's there she's not there Right. there's a lot to put these kids by themselves and make it I think make it feel more uh, without that adult security. Mm-hmm. So it's just them trying to figure this stuff out. Yeah. I feel like Which this movie for- handles that in a way that works versus yeah. like Fear Street. Oh my God. Do you guys remember how there was like not a single adult in the entire yeah. run yeah, of Yeah, which made it just feel like logical yeah. shit was going around. Like, yes. go to the adult. Yeah. But this feels like... And those kids were younger too, so it felt right. especially ridiculous because they were minors. Like, yeah, this, this makes you forget, I think, about the going to the adult part of it, mm-hmm. which is good for the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Because if you're constantly well. thinking about that, it, you're just like, makes, go to the adult. It makes sense in the scenario because it's like the little we know about the mom, we realize that she's completely unreliable. Well, and right. these girls have had to raise themselves. Do you want to go tell your mom about your weird sex stuff? No. Exactly. And not really. really you know, like, that's why that it's is, believable. Yeah, they exactly. Keep mom out like, of no it, one wants who, to tell who's going to believe this? Right. You know? Exactly. Yeah. First of all, it's just the weird sex stuff you don't want to talk about with your parents. Then you add the part with like, oh yeah, the weird sex stuff is trying to kill me <laughs> exactly. as well. I also don't want to talk about this with right. your mom. And and even if I do want to talk about it, like he said, they're not going to believe yeah. me. So Right. There's yeah. always the skepticism mm-hmm. of that. Yes. Well, have, she, you guys, have you guys seen Mermaids with Cher yeah, and Winona Ryder? Ago, yeah. it's, it's like that Winona Ryder has sex like one one time. Or no, she has a crush on a boy and she thinks just from like kissing him that she's automatically pregnant with the next messiah. Uh. It's fucking hilarious. Like, <laughs> I love that movie. Sorry, you should watch you, it. You are not. <laughs> like any listener who thinks they get pregnant with the next messiah. You're well, not. Love a kiss. <laughs> I mean, it does also have like there's this. I mean, that's why I'm like, is this what the movie is really about? Is these kind of... Um, 
you know, it's like teen, it's like, it is kind of teen angst, but like unspoken, we're just kind of watching as like, you know, the one kid, Paul, like clearly Paul. has uh, an interest in Micah Monroe. Yes. Mm-hmm. But, and Trace is putting it lightly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she is Jay. Yeah. Cause mm-hmm. it, it, Jay, that's her name, right? And the movie. Sure and for the, Jamie. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. For and Jamie and it, it, you watch his heartbreak when like, uh, you know, you see <laughs> yeah. like that other guy, you know, put his arm around her. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's those Keir, kind of things. Here, Gilchrist. Watching the girls watch him watch it. You know, that, it's like. Yeah, that's a great part of this movie. Like his reactions. And then if you watch all the the girls react to him doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it feels very real. Mm-hmm. It does. That one part. Because like, I'll, you look I'll at him over tonight like, oh, and they both dude, go, no. Because you're shaking your head at him while they're shaking <laughs> yeah. their head at him. Um. But she goes on a date with this guy, Hugh. And yeah. uh, Not his okay, this guy looks like broke ass um Pacey from Dawson's Creek. Joshua Jackson. Joshua <laughs> yes, Jackson. Okay, he yeah. looks like broke ass Joshua Jackson. He does, like, yeah. you're right. I thought he looked <laughs> a little like Kellen Nuts too. I can see that. The hair especially. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So tell me what happens at this. So they go to this movie, and what happens there? Yeah. Because now the 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 mindset is we know now having seen the movie that he's being pursued by a sex demon and he's trying to pass this off. Do we know that? We don't don't know that. No, we don't since we've seen it, but that's what I'm saying. So this scene, all right, looking back on it. Yeah. This is him. You know, he's basically found the girl that he's, you know, wooing. It's this takes like several dates. It does. The whole time there's this thing walking at you. Right. (laughs) And so he's right. So he's got a very, there's a purpose to what he's doing, but he does, go several dates to do it yeah mm-hmm. which is interesting like he doesn't try and i want uh, it makes me wonder what happened before this if he was over eager with dates before him like because of him being so nervous knowing that this thing is going to kill me mm-hmm. i have to try and have sex with this woman if that has happened before i mean probably because as we learn like he goes to another town yeah would, like well, he, 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 runs, so. he runs like, pretty far from right it. i'm very yeah. curious about what happened before he got to her that he is able to more calmly do this to her mm-hmm. at this yeah. point yeah i know because you're like well this is really shitty you know, very shitty. Yeah, he's basically Obviously. so. Well, he chloroforms her too. Yeah. Like he, he, like I understand his thought process given like what we know he's dealing with. Right, but like. Bro, like you didn't cover your tracks at all. You're for sure going to jail. Maybe is that what he wants? Maybe like would jail be safe? No, I don't no. think no? so. No, you don't think no, that, like, there's no. He's always like, I mean, that guy seems paranoid when we see yeah, him later. Yeah, the, the fact that uh, you have to never be in a place without two doors yeah. and you right. know to be trapped in a cell might. Yeah. So the the mythology of it then is that if well he explains this to her right and he that does he, because. So they go, well, they, we should back up a little bit. Yeah, the movie yeah, yeah. theater, they play a game called like trade me or whatever that Micah Monroe used to play with her sister, where they would look around the room and like pick someone that they wanted, would want to trade places with. And the other person has to guess. Right. And, and they guess the person guess why. And guess why. Mm-hmm. And, and he like, which is kind of bleak when you think about it, points out like a little kid and he's like, I want to be that kid because your whole life's ahead of you. And like, right. you basically you don't know how it. fucked the world is. And it's like, <laughs> oh shit, that's like, why he wants to be like a kid. Right. Well, like, yeah. oh, damn. Yeah. He, he wants to be the little kid because that little kid would never have sex. Yeah, that exactly. Kid, yeah. yeah, that kid yeah. never had sex yeah. Yeah. and doesn't have to deal yeah. with yeah. this shit. Yeah, exactly. And he's like, I remember when I had hope, you know, like it's kind well, of the right. vibe. Yeah. They, it's, it, but they also build it up in a way where, because she plays the game first yeah. and she points to a guy who's with another woman. It's mm-hmm. like, I bet you want her so yeah. it is a it is a playful thing that they do between each other before yeah. we get to a little more serious well, yeah stuff. and then they're in the movie theater and like i love the way that they're kind of like lit almost like the projectors right on them yeah but that, that happened that, yeah. that is a theme throughout this there right. is uh purposeful lighting and very light almost spotlighting throughout the movie right and so you know he's trying to guess who she picked and he's looking around he's like oh the girl in the yellow dress and she's like i don't see anyone i don't see anyone and he points to like an, an empty doorway and there's yeah. no one there and then he freaks out and it's like we gotta go now we gotta go now yeah so the thing <sighs> is i wonder just where he came there? from who the guy yes because it's all about time as far as i'm concerned with this yeah. movie like where did he come from that he has he thought he had the time right but then well, there seems up. to be breaks in it because there are parts of this movie where people don't see it for this days on end. This is the question. So, yeah. 
How fast does and, it walk? Yeah. It right. walks two to four miles per hour, according to the internet, is that's how fast but the But are there breaks walk. in between where they're, this entity is stunned? But we'll get to that. Yeah. Well, well, and they, they drive to the town where he went to high school, and it's within the same day that they figure out, or they find the picture of him. Right. So and, I think it's like him. So I think it's like a town just like a, an hour, a couple hours but away. But his yeah. MO, if I'm not mistaken, is to rent a house under a fake name, and yes. he's squatting there, whatever, and that, jerking off yes. to a bunch of Playboy yeah, magazines. Yeah, he sure is. <laughs> if something's following me, I don't have the capacity to. No, that is that. not in my mind to be like I should pleasure. Yeah, that's myself. why I'm, it's it's yeah. a weird like character thing to give him. I'm like okay, really so weird. what? And uh, well, thought do you think he thought he could kill it? it by jacking off? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Right. He's like, right. I can He's run like, dry. All I have to do is oh, come. I just have to come. The magazine is targeted. Yeah. No. This brings me to my questions. Okay. My first question. Right, go for it. Do you have to come for this to transfer? I don't. And I think it's just penetration. Just penetration. So it's not I sex think, with I think, anyone. I, I think that is so the it's, penetration if you're, the if, connection. If it's girl on girl, you're not passing it. I don't know. This is what they follow should explore. This, then these are my yeah. questions. Because yeah. we don't even know if she had an orgasm in that scene it in the car. Did no, not. No, she I'm did gonna, not. No, no, no. no. I'm going to say right. she had right. zero orgasms. Yeah. I'm pretty no. confident that I'm gonna, she didn't. I agree with that. Yeah. Orgasm has nothing to do okay, with it. Okay, but wouldn't yeah. that, like, that would at least give you like a rule set. If you enjoy, if you you know reach sexual climax, <laughs> then you, the, the demon comes after you. R- to the, talk the about it. I, I see what you're saying. Yes, yeah, right. Man, if things were measured by orgasms in this world, <laughs> things would be bleak. All like, women would be fucked. Yes. <laughs> not the way we Not be, the measuring not stick the way to use. No. Because yeah. no. No. So no. I will tell you right now, that scene when they're having sex in the car, and he's clearly done, and she just kind of leans forward and kisses on the forehead. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. she got no pleasure out yeah. of that. No. <laughs> She's like, that little kiss on the forehead was I, like, I, oh, I, you tried. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it is within the interaction between men and women or man and man or what have you. But it was yeah. within, you wouldn't okay. know. So there is no moment defining moment within the sex. So basically what I'm hearing is that this movie is anti-straight sex, but pro-gay sex. Gay sex. Works for That's me. That's what no. I'm hearing. Because Gay we don't wouldn't transfer it? We don't know because it doesn't Right. That doesn't end. Oh, no, you're no. you're saying say it's penetration. N- so there's penetration in gay sex. I but mean lesbian. Like or lesbian. lesbian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, so here's my next question. What if lesbians are fine? You're right. <laughs> no, you're right. No. Here's, here's my next question. <laughs> you're right. Lesbian sex with sex toys. Yeah, exactly. Does it go through a with dildo? Strap on, you're a strap on or a dildo? Yes. Yeah. You're, it's penetration? This is a very good question. Yeah, that, these are the questions I had this whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> I think not to say that it's not it can incorporate that. I personally think it's between that connection of the 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 Okay. The, the penetration. penetration. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's the penetration. I think yeah. it's so all right, so in, with, and then you're out that. and you still okay. get it. Yeah. So like an STD, so I saying, suppose. Yeah. That's what it's so you're like. saying yes. male on female, anything, male on male, anything, they're in trouble. Right. Female anything on female you can do is to good. Get an STD, you can do to get this. It, there which, you go. Yeah, we yeah. really have to think of it as an STD, I, think that, I guess. I think yeah, yeah. Like uh, that is the like metaphorical yeah. version of this, but yeah. I think yeah. anything physically you can do to get that yeah. will get you that. I gotta say, I kind of so find it reductive beware. when people just call this the like, oh, the movie about us TDs. It's like, okay, yes, well, you, you got everyone, the main theme from it. Congratulations. Sure. But you know, like we can go deeper. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> just it's a reductive way of looking at it, I think. It's just yeah. <laughs> you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> well the deeper the better. So the explanation is, right, that the, this thing... So anyone who's infected mm-hmm. can see the demon. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and there is a, uh, a history, a path. Yeah. yeah. So if it kills the person you infected, you guess what? You're Coming back you. on the... Uh, yeah. Which is the <laughs> scariest shit. Mm-hmm. Because you can give it to someone and that's there. there's a, a relief of that. Yeah. But then you don't know. You're still yeah. looking over your shoulder. Right. Yeah. For the rest of your life. Right. Because yeah. you don't know. Yeah. Right. If that and person if you, is going to get because killed, you, you give it to a weak bitch like Greg, it's going to come back right away. Exactly. So thanks for right. nothing, Greg. Yeah. Right. Thanks for like a whole thirty six hours of thinking maybe this is over, and then right. disappointment. Which Greg is, disappointed twice. Maybe Fucking truly Greg. the horror of this, if you're thinking about it, is just like being never safe. Yeah. Yeah. In that, that regard, that and is again, the that horror. goes back yeah. to the STD thing again. Mm-hmm. Um, what does the demon look like? Everything. Every everyone. It seems Anyone? like it mostly looks like people you're familiar with. 
Does he familiar with? Yeah. Maybe you're afraid of. You have some emotional attachment. The neighbor you. kid, but like but he the says, moms. He like, says he says that it can look like anyone. Right. And he, yeah. and he clearly didn't recognize the girl in the yellow dress. Right. Yeah. And not but everyone. She wouldn't but, recognize the woman, the old woman in the gown who was following right. her. Right. Right. But so there are some people like that it, she knows. Yeah. It seems like as the movie goes on, it gets closer to her and what it looks like. Right. Because it turns into her friend, and it turns into the neighbor kid at one point in time, right. and. And then it turns into her dad, her ultimately. Dad, yeah. But mm-hmm. there's a lot of times I was going like, oh, it's looking like previous victims. Yes. It, it, but it does do that it as does well, that which too. is kind of gives, it makes it a wild card. Yeah. Like, it can look yeah. like anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess. I don't know. I was kind of like, uh, you know, at least you're following that. Like, oh, these are all the people who, you know, sure. have somehow. I think it looking like mm-hmm. anything, it makes it more like. You're always watching your back. Right. Mm-hmm. Anybody walks anything. in a straight line at you, you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. As we saw in the movie, because they have purposely placed people within the movie to mm-hmm. just walk straight towards camera at any point. And right. sometimes they don't ever acknowledge that they're there. Right. Sometimes no, yeah. they don't. Right. And that, there's no payoff that that's right. the thing. But that's what's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it made you, when you first watch the movie, you're constantly scanning the background, yes. you know, and it gives tension. Even especially, the camera work is also doing the same thing yeah. as mm-hmm. the characters are doing other it's stuff. It's very John Carpenter. Mm-hmm. I mean, I keep yes. thinking of In the Mouth of Madness, where mm-hmm. I think, like, and that's not like the first time he ever did, like somebody mm-hmm. just walking right at, well, it, or yeah. was it? But that's mm-hmm. the entire movie of yeah. its follows, its villain is yeah. based off of that opening yeah. scene of In the Mouth of Madness. Um, I, and I, I like that scene when they go into the high school and they go into the principal's office to see if they can find out who Hugh really is. Yeah. And that while they're in there, the camera's panning. And, yeah. you, and you see yeah. where it's following. All around. I yeah. like that. It's like mm-hmm. showing, it's like, because the audience is going to be wondering, like, mm-hmm. well, is it still following them? And like, yep, right. it sure is. It's right, right. there. Because what would you I do if that. something was like this? You would just keep looking mm-hmm. around. Yeah. yeah. But Constantly th- circling your area. Didn't that scene of her in class seeing the lady coming at her feel just like that scene in Halloween where Lori no, sees yeah, Michael yeah. outside? 100%. Yeah. 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 yeah this is got to be purposeful. Yeah. 100%. You know, yeah. We got a teacher talking about the themes of what have you. What I'm have pretty you sure it's made. Shakespeare, just like it is in Halloween. Probably, yeah, it's always yeah. It's, yeah. it's always Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. Somebody outside is yeah. that. It was definitely yeah. philosophy. Of yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so if you lock yourself in a room, right, uh, can it come through the door? Yeah. Yes. Well, we saw it, well, it, it can if, break the door. It can break right. through the if door. If it can get through the door. Okay. So the people who Is it are vampire not... rules? Does it have to be invited? No. No. No, it will just keep coming. Well, I'm just thinking about Greg's situation. Okay. Because Greg, it looked like Greg and it broke the window and went into his house and went upstairs and then turned into his mom and then Did, just knocked what, on the door. Was okay. it his mom or he just opened the door going, Mom, what do you want? And then there's I this woman. Was, I'm pretty mom. sure it was supposed to be his mom. Okay. I think it's supposed to be his yeah, mom. Yeah, but well, it was him until it went upstairs, and then it was his mom. It was, but, when, and, but, but when it, it broke it, into what, the what, house. But, but then it just it, knocked on the but door. Was it that just because she was watching it? Is it a different thing just because of the person who's? Watching I'm more it? wondering about why it can break into the house but can't open the bedroom door. Is more where I'm yeah, well, caught up on in this through, scene, like a glass. Window. Yeah, yeah. It, it broke into Jay's house. Right, but it's just knocking on the door with his bedroom instead of just opening it. Yeah. So eventually it does like bash through a the, at the beach house, yeah, a little yeah. shed. It does mm-hmm. break right. through a door. So it's like it can, so it will eventually get you. But I mean, right. you get a panic room or something. Mm-hmm. Be like, yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. never going to get well, out of there. This is what ar- uh, arises from a movie like this. The questions like, what are the rules? Because I think we're always looking for those the rules of a movie, the boundaries is like, all right, what can we expect? Yeah. What can it not do? So we're always looking for that. Do Try we have and... a clearly defined villain here? Or is the idea if, I don't we're, think so. if we're ambiguous? Sex is the villain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't have sex. <laughs> Said Absence Holly with you. a lot of confidence. Yeah, yeah. Sex I'm very is the confident. <laughs> There's people having all kind of sort of weird clothes st- sex in this movie that I wasn't entirely sure what was happening. Mm. Uh, I mean, I know what's happening, but it's like, Do you I don't know, think right, you're doing it right. I mean, love get each these other. people a manual. Not in this movie, Sean. I mean, to be <laughs> no, fair, no, Colin, right, most right. of the sex in this movie is in cars. Or a hospital bed. It's Our all pretty hospital. public places. Like not so, but, dude climbs in with his pants on. Yeah, and, you're not going to get completely naked in a hospital. Yeah, but you, he took him off after, after and okay. had sex with her. Like I use your imagination. Just unbutton, and slide down. I, I, like, I think he just pulled him down. A yeah, the, that's right. Yeah, you're in public. Not, yeah, yeah, not much is needed. Yeah. Did the monster more eventually sex. fuck him to death? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it looked like. What? Okay. So what is? That leads me to the next question. Mm-hmm. What is the entity looking for when they do... Life force? 
I think it's a life force situation. Th- well, see, I think so too. Uh, so they're uh, fucking the life out of yeah. somebody. Yes, yeah. and I think that's what keeps them going. Like you know, uh, uh, electrically, like it is the life force they're fucking out of someone. Mm-hmm. Well, respect. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I'm wondering. Wouldn't you like a night that good? It's like you fucked the life force out of me. God damn. I mean, it doesn't, mm-hmm. sound bad. It doesn't look right. good in this movie, though. <laughs> well, that's but what... it's bad in this movie, Holly. <laughs> yeah, because then, then going back to the original, the first girl, I'm like, okay, that's how she died. Right. Yeah. Just <laughs> broke her leg and yeah. all right. this other stuff. It's a forceful thing, but it's also just sucking the life out yeah. of her. Yeah. And then all these, there's a lot of naked, um, you know, like people. Entities. Just, yes. Entities walking. And so I'm like, okay, was this the state that they were in when they died or you know like i don't know i guess you don't know but it's like why is there so many naked people walking around as the well i think it becomes it it goes with the uh sexually motivated transmission of this disease like to have those um entities be naked kind of adds to that if i back out of my driveway and see a naked adult man standing on my roof i'm gonna shit my it's also a lot more (laughs) eerie if you have a naked thing walking towards you to come get you yes yes see i guess that's why i was thinking that it's like these are previous victims and this is what it remembers and this is how both and i think that if you probably talk to them they'd be like the woman, the first woman you saw when Michael Monroe got infected and everything was probably a sexual partner of someone right. who, who came on. And so that is part of it, yes. And then but it I think seems it's a like there's a rape victim things. in there, too. That yes. I was like, okay, is that how she got the disease mm-hmm. or this is how she died from it? The monster, the entity. Right. right. You know? I think, but I think that's like you could say yes to this, no to that. Yeah. I think there's a lot of that that is coming into this. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the movie then is spent with uh, the repeated appearances of the the entity. I guess that's what we're calling it. Is that what they call it? The, the, but it it, 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 yeah. it, yeah. it keeps on following, walking at them. Indeed. We know that uh, it, it's always walking. So even when you're sleeping, you, yeah. nobody's waking up in a panic, as Sean pointed out. Right, because, yeah, there are moments where the, the characters... I mean, in their life, drive far enough away to be comforted. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would never be far enough away. If I if if I knew the rules that it will always be coming after me, it's always mm-hmm. following. It will always try and get you. These people fall asleep very easily, well, and they keep, wake up very like, easily. Keep in mind, like you would be passing out too yeah. if you were yeah, so stressed. Yeah, yeah. Out. From but if I am then. passing out, if I am on the verge of waking up and knowing this is happening, I am waking up. Like very violently. Yeah, like, no, I like, agree. Wake, uh, I, I agree. Mean, waking uh, up in a panic. I wake up in a panic, panic on a normal day, <laughs> let alone if this right. is happening and to yeah. me. You know, right. yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 Knows nothing yeah. is following her. Yeah, yeah. your cortisol levels right. are the so highest right before you wake up in the morning. Yeah. Something following me that will kill me. Yeah, I will be waking up more violently than mm-hmm. I think what these characters do in this. You do that flail like that's how you're gonna wake up. Yeah, but maybe this is the ignorance of the young. As they, yeah, I probably. Think, but as I think is, a I fact, did not have anxiety at twenty right, years old. <laughs> right. But I think yeah. that is a factor in this movie because mm-hmm. the characters are young enough mm-hmm. where they don't panic at certain points for this. Well, I don't there's know a why. lot of like, do they even, you know, they're they're going on her word that something's happening, right? Um, but I'm also just looking at her, like how she reacts to this mm-hmm. stuff, and like she should be panicking a little bit more when she wakes up. I would think. Like, if I fell asleep for a certain amount of time, I knew some entity was coming to get me, mm-hmm. I would get a little uh, afraid. Well, she, mm-hmm. in order to uh, remove this curse from her, she they eventually do track down Hugh, whose real name is Jeff, and they find yes. him at his house and, right. and, and and so with his we, mom. Right, and, and we explain a little bit more of what's yeah. going on, yes. And, his, and we see more of his panic about seeing things that maybe nobody else sees. And so I guess after that, like her thing, then it becomes a moral dilemma. Like, do you pass it on to somebody, right. you know, kind of like the ring, right? right. When like, you accept what you, what it is and what you can do to get rid of it, what do you do? Yeah. So what does she do? What's the, cause I mean, I know they go to the, basically there's that scene that takes place at the beach house where we have to kind of prove to her friends and reinforce their uh, protection of her is because they see, mm-hmm. um, you know, her hair getting pulled. Right, the other I mean, kid gets uh-huh. like hit by something. That right, there's, nobody a, can uh, there's see. a great scene. Yeah. Where, right, there's a great scene where they're at the beach. I, I love the kind of disorientation of the movie because you know, we we get them. They know they're being followed and everything, but they are relaxing at the. Uh, oh, I forgot his name. The one dude. Greg. He's got the car. Greg. 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 Greg's uh, beach house. Um, 
So they're all relaxing, thinking they're far enough away and everything. Um, and it, it is a it is a moment to account for what characters are there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you know, we we kind of find everybody, and then we see an, a familiar character walking towards the rest of the characters, but then we see that character somewhere else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And In so, the and, and I, like, what? right. And I love that we don't do music for these moments. Like we just let the moments play out because it feels like they're letting the the audience knows. Um, the, they're letting the audience be smart. There's like, mm-hmm. oh, oh, she's there. Oh, she's there. It's like, oh, something's yeah. going on and something's happening. Mm-hmm. Because the rest coming. of them are just having this like casual moment at the beach, and we're right. all like, look behind you, bitch. We're like, no, yeah. no, there's two of them. Yeah, something's yeah. going to happen. And they this hear- is where we get the moments of um, more physical interaction with our characters. We see hair being raised. We see chairs being lifted. We mm-hmm. see the entity doing more in the physical world. To these characters, which we hadn't mm-hmm. seen before, mm-hmm. which kind of makes a new layer to this. Yeah, because I was like, can they, they can't see it, but they can hear it when it's pounding on doors. Right. So you they know it's there. It. It's a physical, right. you know. We learn more about the physicality. It's just invisible. Yeah. The, right. Of mm-hmm. this character, like what it can do. It's invisible, but it can do things yeah. and interact with the characters. I like when you get glimpse of, glimpses of it through like the door windows and the yes. and stuff. But we should mention that like one of the forms it takes is this guy that's like probably like what, seven feet tall or something that's. Yeah. Kind of like yes. like a Doug Jones looking guy yeah. that is very that scary. Guy, that guy's a twin. So it, oh God! Oh no, <laughs> Holly. Do you? How much do you hate this? <laughs> my like seriously, like my stomach. You just, just got like, triggered. Yes. Like yeah, right. yeah. He is introduced, and the way he's introduced, it's he really stomps good. through hallways he and does, shit. But I and love when he's yeah. coming, like because he opens. Up, we open up a door to a character we know. Yeah, and then we get introduced to a giant character we don't know. Comes out of the shadows. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, but I love that they kind of like. No offense to these actors, cast these kind of like strange looking people to they, like yeah. play it at times. They for jump scare effect, I sure. think it works. But the hair pull scene reminded me of uh, Holly. You weren't here for it, but Paramount Home Activity Three had almost that exact same thing where the where demon is, picked yeah, up the girl by the hair. Moment, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, she does. Uh, I guess you know. I mean, desperation sinks in. She uh, does consent to have sex with Greg. There's a lot of this, yes. like yes. you know, do the guys want to have sex with her to protect her? Or do they want to have sex with her? Sex yeah, in this movie yeah. becomes for her, I think, Currency. like a utilitarian thing. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. And it's like, well, it's welcome to adulthood. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Right. Yeah. There's a lot to think about once we get to that point. It's just like who you have sex with, why you have sex with them, the relations, mm-hmm. relationships of people. It becomes transactional in this movie, right? Yeah. Like, right. Which is like... A tough lesson for women of this age to learn is that yes. most sex of your life will be transactional. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> well, we said that uh, Greg, uh, you know, doesn't believe that, you know, that the thing is coming after him. So he gets killed by it. And we see the thing fuck the life out of him. So uh, then really, his mom fucks the life. Yeah, that's the, this scene I don't like. It up. makes me uh, gr- feel icky. It's really yeah, icky. It really is. It, yeah. it, it is probably the most... Aside from like the very beginning, maybe the most graphic moment of what happens to people. It's the only real, yeah, because you see yeah. him when go they, blue and lifeless, right. there's sparking so, electricity. Right. This is like, the moment where you find out what happens yeah. to people who run into the entity if they let it right. get to them. And right. like, just, I don't like the, I'm glad this movie didn't go this direction, but if it, it went into like a pedophilia or incestual mm. direction mm-hmm. this right. movie could get real sleazy and gross well, real I guess quick it is if we're yeah. saying that that right is, but uh, i know but they could it could have gone in a more intentional direction if you get what i'm saying yeah. like yeah. someone passing it off to a family member or yeah, something like we're, yeah we're, we're, uh, that's we're what all i'm saying i'm not yes. good yeah. right yeah. I'm not because in, in this yes. instance we're all still very aware that that's not actually his mom it's just the form exactly that it took. Yeah. 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 right but it puts the idea in your head point it will get to the actual yes yeah yeah um I was kind of like, well, how are they going to pull this off? And that's why I was like, okay, they're going to, you know, it's like, you got to do something. The director has to sit there and go like, well, it's got to be something you haven't seen before, right? It's got to be creative. So he's flashing the lights and being intentionally, I think, ambiguous. Mm -hmm. There's another scene of ambiguity that happens a little later because now she's like, well, the thing's going to come after me again. So she goes as far away as she can to the lake. And yes. she sees these guys out on a boat at a distance mm-hmm. and she strips down and gets in the water and then we cut away and she's wet driving home. And yeah. we're like, OK, what happened there? Mm-hmm. So why is, does this scene exist? Because based on what follows, 
uh, it's still <laughs> after her, right? Yeah. She would have to explain to these three guys, like, you know, what she's doing with them. Mm-hmm. So what was the, what are we, yeah, I guess. Misdirection. Yeah. Yeah. I, guess. I, th- I, I think and then, that's. Yeah, I think it's misdirection. And I then, think that and, is it. And then once it's revealed that she didn't actually, it's just kind of like that. Because I don't, It's right. that moral yeah. dilemma where she couldn't like bring herself to do it. Scene. I don't. Right. She, you well, you see that she's in her room with a chair up against the door. So right. it's like, well, then right there, we know that she didn't actually right. do so it. So the point right. is, well, like, I, we know that she had a moral dilemma. Well, right. I, I think I would, it is the thought. I would push back on that a little bit, though, because Jeff said he was still seeing it, even though he had sex with her. Yeah. And he couldn't figure out why. Remember? So mm-hmm. Je- Jeff, the guy that gave it to her. Yeah. Remember when they well, went he, to his no, house? He said he could see it no matter what. He, he, he said he, he said it's still after me. Have you fucked anyone? Like he said, it's still coming after me. I don't know why. No, like, that's I, what they it, talked about. Earlier on, house. he says, like, I can still see it even though I pass on to you. So I know what's going on. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, later no, he, it's, no, it's, he no, like unclear. demos. He demonstrates yeah. with the uh, the first like thing. Like, yeah, like I can walk right up to it and it won't right. come after me anymore. Right. But he can still see it. No, but he. Yeah, I think it is. He's. But then when they go to his house, he's all worked up, being like, "Well, he thought because she's yeah. there, yeah, here it comes it will be near and him. It gets him. Here, yeah. and it's him. It gets, it's yeah. closer to him. But he does profess that he can still see yeah. it, even if she, she right. is infected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So then so you're going to see it no matter what, no matter basically. what. Like yeah. You, it could be three people down the line. Right. And you're, you're still, still going to see it. it. Yeah. yeah. So there's this. Little... So she could have fucked those guys and she would still see it. So it didn't really make she a difference. Would, yeah. But Which it, I guess I mean, your point, Colin. Along, yeah. it is, it's, it's the moral uh, thing of like, would she do that to other people? Right. How would she do that to other people? Right. Well, would she explain or not? But I right. guess, is it in her benefit to explain because it would prolong her life? Right. There's but couldn't you just do that question. by having her? She sees the guys out there. We watch her, and she just kind of looks, and you hold on her for a little while, and we know that what's going through her head is you could swim out there and do something. Mm-hmm. You don't actually have to get her in the water and, and be wet, because then you go like, oh, she did go out there, mm. right? I and mean, it's I just... Like, no, it turns yeah. out she didn't. It's like, so yeah. I'm like, what? She you know, gave up halfway through that swim, yeah. Yeah. and you never know. It's that's just a long, weird. Right, because yeah. it is a long swim to get out to them. Well, uh, Paul comes up with the solution on how to actually kill the fucking the Paul. Thing. Paul. Uh, Should we talk about Paul? This Paul. guy. I, I don't like Paul. I feel it's like triggered by this guy because I feel like every woman has known a fucking Paul. In Everyone. Life. Yes. <laughs> this Even, is, I'm not a woman. Yeah, every woman has known. Paul. This is the guy that like every time you see him, he's like, where's my hug? And you're just like, oh, don't, don't. Nope. He's a where's my hug guy. Don't do that. I, you know, you got that off of Paul? Really? Yes. I didn't he get is, this off I, of Paul. He is, <laughs> get that off of Paul. Are there guys, just, are there guys yeah. who do where's my hug? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I know very little about the women's existence. I'm very sorry. Yeah, that's the only way they can touch women is by guilting them into hugs. Mm-hmm. So they do it. And that becomes their thing. Yep. yep. I didn't okay. think that that was Paul's thing at all, though. I thought uh, He is too all too eager to take this <laughs> well, off her hands. See, that's, right, that's, right, Colin, that's the thing. This is where you just... Yeah, I know, but that's the thing about his character that becomes that it's like he is too eager to take it on. It's like I'm going to save you, you know, from this. It's like how the fuck are you going to you're going to end up in just jumping into shit, saying he can do shit without ever knowing. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, I do believe that that he he likes her and he cares enough for her to like. Okay, I'll take it on. But he's an idiot. He's a kid. But he doesn't even care that the feeling is reciprocated. He cares that he gets to fuck her. Mm-hmm. Like that, he like he doesn't give a shit that he's fucking her in the context of she's trying to get rid of a disease. Right. He's just yeah. happy because to be able to. Fuck thing her. Is that at the end, they're like together, and so no. it is like mm. these are the you know. No. I I don't think they're together. No. I think they've just been through some shit. Yeah, right. yes. yeah, and they're traumatized by the same thing. Because yeah. Yeah. Trauma brought bond. to you by every interaction they have throughout the movie. He says exactly what he's feeling, and, and she, she recoils. And she, right, and she goes. Eh. Yeah. Like, yeah, he tries to kiss her and she recoils. Yeah. No, there well, is that there is, is, she's there is acceptance yeah. of maybe what happened, but also like, I don't think eh. she's protecting him. I think she's legitimately like I don't want to do this. Yeah, with you, even if like this will save my no, life. No, she yeah. doesn't. No, there is no because she, she knows yeah, he has feelings and so she doesn't want to fuck yeah. around with those feelings. Yeah, I think yeah. that's why she has sex dilemma. with yeah. Greg because she's like I thought he'd be fine. Basically, he knows. Other girls and we'll be right. able to pass right. this There's on. also like she can accept, have sex with Greg without there being the complications of, I think what 
the other dude will bring to Well, she it. also says that they had sex once in high school, so like yeah. right. it feels more natural to just kind of rekindle something that already existed, sure. yeah. you know? So yeah. deal with the, the emotional complications of, of dealing Paul. with yes. Paul. Yes, exactly. Yeah, who has who, actual yeah. feelings right. for Right, yeah. yeah. There yeah. is, there is uh, Well, he comes up yeah. with a plan. Right. It's a genius plan. <sighs> Split? Meet He's, up with the sex worker, yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. Before that, <laughs> oh, that well, eventually oh, yeah. he does have yeah. sex with her yeah. after, yes. you know, the, the 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 final confrontation, and then yeah, does he give it to a sex worker? No. Uh, there's an implication mm-hmm. that maybe, but um, only be, uh, if nothing else, the sex workers look upon me like no, no. They probably thought he was underage. They're probably like, "This is going to get us." In I trouble. would think yeah, he was yeah. underage. Yeah, he's like, he's, uh, looks young. are you yeah. a cop? Because yeah. this, yeah. I'm not doing this. Yeah, this feels so. like a sting operation. Right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I don't think so. Yeah. No, but that's him driving around, going like, "Who can I give it to?" Right, there is that. It. It's like he's got to pass. But it I on. would put it on Paul to not do it and say he did it. Yeah, just he to does be with seem her. like that type. He really doesn't does. Just to be with her, just whatever she wants to hear. Right, and he knows how we get to the end of this movie. With our somebody in the background, yeah, just ah. walking toward them. But there's this big centerpiece final confrontation. There is where the, 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 the idea of how to get rid of this thing at the end of the movie. Yes, yeah. So we're thinking that it was basically it's we'll just put guesswork. her in guesswork. a pool. It is guesswork, and then if the thing gets in the water, we'll be able to see where it is. Mm-hmm. Right, because these kids are trying to react to this thing on, uh, I think, in a level of something we can physically do to it which i don't think is n- no because it's necessarily a curse. right an exorcist R- right yeah <laughs> right, exactly. but i think these kids are thinking like we could physically do something to it to get rid of it yeah which with the, uh, pa- uh i would think they're wrong yeah well we saw earlier in the movie she shot it in the head she shot and it, it did right. nothing yeah. well she shot it, it in the arm i think, I think the first no, she or, shot or, it in the head i think she shot all right i'm gonna yeah. i'm gonna split the difference shot in the neck yeah i'm mm-hmm. pretty sure but it goes down and then it gets back up so we know you can't kill the thing by right. shooting it right so they get it in this pool and they hook up all these electronic devices like toasters and electric yeah, type irons. Just, and you're yeah. like, what like are they going to do? Sh- old shitty lamps, lamps and yeah. irons and shit. So yeah. I guess the implication is somehow we're going to trap it in the pool and then we're going to electrocute it by throwing yeah. all this stuff yeah. in. But that doesn't happen. The no, thing shows up. No, because you think smarter enough and just start throwing that shit at my I love it. Yeah. yeah I be like, like fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I can fall for your shit. And then uh, her sister, I think, is the one who finally does the invisible man trick by throwing a uh, sheet right. over it. And mm-hmm. then Paul shoots it in the head. Yeah. It Paul's falls. a yes. little too, a lot too loose with this gun. Yeah. Because yeah, he, sh- uh, he shoots that one girl yeah. in the leg. Yeah. Yeah. Yara, Yara, gets shot yeah. Leg. Yara gets shot yeah. in the leg. Yara. Mm-hmm. Um, but nobody really seems to care. No. Okay, but this- afterwards, we're in the middle of a, a crisis. So no, we'll they find all run her over to her. She, she can get shot in a vital organ. It's fine. Yeah. yeah she can get shot in a so I have questions about okay, how this it. actually, and just in the time that we have left. So <laughs> Paul shoots it in the head. He does. It falls right. into the pool. Right. So it's still alive. alive. No, they're not, oh, not right, that right. Oh, yeah, he does. Shoot, yeah. It still grabs her. Yep. Mm-hmm. Paul shoots it again, very dangerously, while Ma- Michael Monroe is right there, and yes. does shoot it again in the head. Yes. And at this point, the pool fills up with a big, giant cloud of blood. Yes. That only she can see. Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> it means we are at a moment where this thing is deterred. Is that it? Why it's was like, the big it's like in a video press? game when like you get their health bar flashing and it's low. Mm-hmm. So like now's your chance well, to make a critical hit. It's but. this really uh, ambiguous thing because they're like, is it you yes. know, is it still in the pool? Because basically we shot right. it in the head. I'm like, okay, yeah. well you shot it in the head twice. I mean, what the and the second time, big plume, which is like a climactic. You got it. That's its mm-hmm. essence. Right. It's too much blood for a person. Right. right. Well, this but is that is diffused. for no. That is for the characters. Mm-hmm. So is that like Not it in its natural form? It's a big cloudy red blob. No. I don't know. No. And but then the movie keeps going. So like it's almost saying that, OK, we had this big showdown climax, but we didn't take care of anything because then she has sex with Paul. And then Paul's going around. Am I going to go sleep with a hooker? And then yep. the two and of them are walking away and this thing's following them right. at the end. So it's like, and, and it's specifically they are they are dressed all in white, covered in black as they are with their jackets, mm-hmm. you know, whatever have you. The thing behind them dressed the same way. White covered in black mm-hmm. of some sort. Mm-hmm. Are we so we're not supposed to take that it that the final confrontation actually killed the thing? No, I think that is according to like the mass audience of it. You're just supposed to be like, 
Oh, yeah, I don't know. Either I don't know or it's still coming after them. I think it's not. Uh, not mm-hmm. dead. I guess because mm-hmm. you, you have them. questions of what's the point there of this scene that I have, mm-hmm. I suppose. Like, our ending scene? Like what? Yeah. I mean, is that the end? Did you, you know, if you set up this big, you know, we're going to trap it, we're going to kill it, or at least weaken it in some way. But then in the next scene, it's like, nope, we're right back to the movie again. And the thing's still following us. And this is where I'm going to have sex with you to get they rid failed, of it. They failed, Colin. And it's like, okay. And then it just keeps going. And eventually it. there's, they, they follow. Mm-hmm. They thought. I wonder if it is like really leaning into the std thing of like you don't have a breakout for a while so you think you're good and there, then I like mean, and then it comes back you that know? is legitimate yeah you know right maybe maybe that's what it it's is like just, seen it for a while. just because your herpes aren't detected doesn't yeah mean they're not right. there that's what the commercials tell me yeah you know? so right. are we doing yeah. is this a thing ending where the thing that's following them may not be the thing it may just be a person. It's possible. See, there do I a lot of fake outs or, like that. But I yeah. think it has to be because I think it it's shows, definitely a thing. It shows like the shot of them walking towards us and there's nobody there. And then it shows the shot and there is somebody there. Which right. is usually And because it's dressed just like them, I'm going with it's still falling. Yeah. So it feels like, OK, it's, it's still, still going on. Right. They missed the opportunity with naming the sequel that is is coming out. It still follows. <laughs> Just still based follows. on my uh, previous uh, uh, experience with I Know What You Did Last Night. They didn't want to go I with that naming convention. Right. <laughs> it's like that may, be, that may incur too much baggage. They're just like, we won't do the still. But I, w- I will but say, it when still I heard, follows. When I heard they follows, I was like, ooh, like a crowd of people is what yeah. I imagined, right? And, so like, and the tagline is. It's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. it. I love so it. So there's more. Right. There then we got to figure out the plot, uh, how they're going to split right. it off into multiple. And, yeah, right. And, uh, but this also, like. Well, he's I been hope... working on it for a damn near decade, right. apparently. So. so I hope they're prepared for the questions that we've had watching this first movie and what we'll do further. I don't think because most people they're... are asking these questions that watch this movie, to be honest. Are the people, <gasps> is the fact that you ask questions about it the reason why this movie has that following? No, I think it's the opposite. I don't think, I think most people who watch this movie don't ask half the questions we ask. I think they accept it at face value and just enjoy it for the ride. Maybe they don't ask half the questions, but are they asking the questions that would... If you read, are, are questionable to the. I don't uh, think my husband's or, asking any questions when he watches. Really, it every year. I think nothing? he's just enjoying he's the movie. I think he's just got enjoying nothing. the movie and letting it wash over him. But over and no, over and over again, no question. He does not analyze movies the, the same way we do. The average movie yes. does. They just watch. They movies just for enjoy fun. it, and they got it. Qu- I don't believe that they're just like ah. So you're, they gotta have questions. All right, I, th- I think you're overestimating nah, most movie well, watchers. Yeah. If you look at like IMDb's comment section or Letterbox, and all that, granted, those are people who those have are movie people. Those are movie movies. people. Yeah, or I think least. regular people will have questions about this movie. They gotta. Okay. I want to talk to Toby. I, I need Don't you no, I, to him, no, I want I want, to talk to I want Sean to do a Billy on the street style thing where he's out here just shoving a mic in people's faces, yeah. being like, "What no. questions do you have about it?" Follows. <laughs> what did no, you think no, about no, it? No. Follows. Yeah. No, was it really there at the end? Yeah. I think you got to give people time to think about it before you ask them the question. About I just. It. I'm going to ask you questions. I've about never it. heard him say like raise a question while watching it ever. He just I'm watches gonna, it and enjoys it. About and, twenty minutes about yeah. what he thought about this movie. <laughs> He's gonna be like, "I like it. I think it's good." No. And that's gonna be the message. No. You get. Yeah. More. All right. Well, we're gonna find out the answer to all these questions and more by the time we uh, reconvene next week. But first of all, oh, and we're gonna tell you what we thought of tonight's movie uh, after we read some of your mail. But in order to do that, we're gonna have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Imagine always, if he was following you. No, he's always following someone. Yeah, he yeah. is the thing I that follows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, and maybe just this neighborhood. He's like, oh, all right. Yeah, he just he laps just follow, around yeah. the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should tell the good folks at home how they can follow us on <laughs> our social medias. <laughs> Which are Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. X. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, ask that Freak Show. <laughs> uh, you can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram or threads at Saturday Night Freak Show. About tonight's movie, It Follows, Nelson Nascimento says, It's an effective and atmospheric little film. <laughs> it spins the old formula on the dangers of sex, camouflage, but not much different than a Friday the 13th slasher, sure. borrowing from The Ring as well as others, but it still works well. With a sequel, They Follow, just announced, Wonder if this is going to go the alien to aliens route. 
More probably sex demons. Uh, Yo, Jimbo, I said an orgy, like a society style orgy. Now, see, that would be if we went to an orgy and we had to figure out who came out. Yeah, it, yeah, that would be interesting. Let's do it. Let's orgies, more yeah. orgies in future filmmaking. <laughs> well, interestingly, uh, Michael Whitaker says while everyone praises this movie, I had a real issue with the end. It felt very anticlimactic, and the shape shifting sex monster was seemingly done in by a bullet. It was kind of a letdown. I have jokingly said the easiest way to be rid of the demon would be getting involved in the porn industry. That, that thing wouldn't be walking in circles for years and you have to wonder if the entity is only after people who have full on sex or if there's lesser punishments for other things like maybe a hand job just warrants a slap <laughs> on the face <laughs> see people do right. ask you, these right. questions yes the listeners the, of our show right. yes. yeah. <laughs> uh, yo Jimbo I says it's one of the top five horror movies of the 2010s from the great allegory for the transition from child to adult to the shockingly recognizable Michigan, the phenomenal score, the iconic use of a figure approaching the camera. This feels a little bit too known and too loved for the freak show, but maybe Michaela will throw everyone for a loop and hate a modern masterpiece like she did why? Hereditary. Oh, okay. That's why. Okay. okay. I, I hated that too. But okay, yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you hate everything. I did, I, no, not, no. no, no I just, just, just A24 stuff saying, yeah. mostly. Uh, right. Applevia. Leva says, I love the obscure ending. Let the audience make up their own mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Sobe like Datura too. wants to know our weird date stories. You, uh, you don't yeah. have the time. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, our podcast, Holly. We'll, yeah. We'll come with it. Sean and I uh, about there was a time. I think I told you guys this one time, but there was a time I went on a first date with a guy and I didn't realize like his family was super, super religious, mm -hmm. like super. And I went back. He asked me to back to his house and I thought it was his house and it was him living with his parents still. And when we went inside, his parents like flipped on the lights and was like, let's have a conversation and brought me over to their couch and asked me what my intentions were with their son. And this was a first date. No. Didn't talk to him after that. Yeah, no, that sounds very horrifying. I, I was like twenty years old, so no. I, this is like a like a it follows age. No, I'd be like, no, yeah, no, no, I'm gone. I wasn't a minor. It wasn't like we were going to homecoming. I was an adult, and so was he. It Ugh. was That's very horrible. uncomfortable. Yeah, no. Uh, about last week, we watched a movie called Dark Knight of the Scarecrow. Travis Legler says Larry Drake was who was in it. Was also the bad guy. In that knockoff, or he was the bad guy, a knockoff version of Ben Gardner and Peter Benchley's The Beast. Man, that movie comes up. Yeah, it comes a up lot. a lot. Yeah. Uh, the man was it. a good actor. <laughs> Only with Travis Legler. Yeah. He <laughs> says it was a, he was a good actor and a kind man, and he seemed to have a good sense of humor about his career. Yeah, indeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, my mostly unfabulous life says, if you're not planting, why would you put up a scarecrow? Always got me as a kid. That's a line. It was from a good movie. line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the week before, I believe we watched Pumpkinhead 2 and Kryptonian Orphan says, fun fact, if you pause at just the right moment, you can see Pumpkinhead is wearing Nikes. Yes. Yeah. That's like, yeah. it's like the scene when he comes in the barn door. It's on the back of the VHS. You can see the. Oh, wow. Kind of shoes. Yep. <laughs> I always wonder right. still again, like, you know, is that because of the, like they show it open mat on, on, you know, when they, right, they take off. off the, I mean, it's yeah, on the back of the VHS, so. What's their excuse there? You know? From puppet to guy in suit for the second movie. Yep. Joey yep. Blythe says, I found a random movie on Tubi for the dogs to watch on Halloween before <laughs> I left to work. The dog who saved Halloween. And I was surprised to see Lance Henriksen was it. Oh, what? The dog who saved Maybe Halloween? Maybe I'll put that on for my dogs. <laughs> Bro. <that's... laughs> he said he put it on for his dogs to watch. Yeah, put it on for his dogs. So, I mean, that that's makes sense. Lot. There you go. What are the ads during a Tubi movie that's oh, made for dogs? Oh, a lot, I'm sure. No, I mean, are they all like bacon dog food? Oh, I hope so. Chewy, bacon chewy, 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 chewy yeah. bug. Yeah. All right. Well, thank Park you box. all, mm -hmm. each of you, for writing in. We really appreciate it. We truly do. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of the best horror movie of from over a decade. Boing, boing. It follows. <laughs> starting with Colin. Oh boy. Oh, you going to go first tonight? What do you think about It Follows? Um, It Follows has troubled me ever since I saw it. Because, this is what I remember. Yeah, I saw it and I was like, I don't get what the fuck everybody is like uh, going over, losing their shit over. Because I mean, it did become a phenomenon, and critics were loving the hell out of it and i was like i am just not feeling the love and so i'm watching it tonight going like okay let's uh we're gonna clear all that out yeah clear but, it all out what do we think um so it has to its credit uh appealing actors it has great uh cinematography it has hitchcockian level suspense which is basically borrowed from john carpenter but he, this guy uh David Robert, call him Robert Duncan McNeil, David Robert Mitchell. David Robert Mitchum, David Robert Mitchum Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchum. Robert Mitchum. If, 
There you go. Who he, knew? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knew he'd come it's back? It's not Night of the Hunter. This yeah. many years later. Yeah. But he can orchestrate a suspense scene. He uh, wrote it, so he has like a ear for uh, young uh, adult uh, situations and all this. It feels lived in, you know? I mean, it feels genuine. I like that about it, but... It has a great setup. I always kind of judge movies, it seems like, in like thirds, right? You go like the three acts. First act is like great. Great setup. Great setup. Second act, it was about the time they got to the beach house that it started to feel like, okay, what are we doing? We're just sitting on a beach and not doing anything. We're waiting for something to happen. You're not, there's not the agency of like trying to, you know, maybe they've gone as far as they can and we're just going to sit here. Maybe and that's the really characters in Colin. They've gone as far as they can. This okay. is where they are. But I saw the same, like, we're going to sit here and wait, and the thing's going to eventually show up. We're going to sit here and wait, and the thing's eventually going to show up. And it like it's long, protracted periods of time to build suspense, but eventually you're like, well, I know eventually the thing's going to show up. Um, the third act, to me, was really where it started to be too ambiguous for its own good, where I was like, why'd they do that? Maybe like, we needed more weird- rules. More more ways to figure out what was going on. I think that, uh, yeah, in some ways, a better defined monster would probably help me. But I think like some of the directorial choices, like, you know, like that scene I was telling you where she wanders out into the water. It's like it's just cut in a way that you're like, you're just intentionally trying to give us the this idea and then eventually, and then right in the next scene, Abandoned. like abandoning it. And it's like, what are you doing? And that end, yeah, I have no idea what happened. Can you kill it with a bullet? Is it dead? Are, is, are they still being followed at right. the end? And I'm sure he's going to tell you, well, that's what I want. You know, you can, because it's up for you to read into it, whatever you want. And it frustrated the hell out of me. Um, it's just not enough there, I guess. I didn't like the experience. I did actually like the movie enough to recommend it because it's so strong starting off and it doesn't, uh, you know, completely shit the bed, <laughs> but it's like, it's just disappointing. It kind of falls apart more as it goes right. forward. Needs a little more, I would still, yeah, a little more. Fr- <laughs> I think a rewrite was where the, I think it was where you would fix it. I think they, they would have to do another pass on the script, but I still would recommend the movie because I do think it uh, is good. I just don't, I don't think it's one of the best horror movies of the, of the 2000, 2010s, but uh, Wait, okay. Before you pass on to someone else, where do you hope it goes in the already announced sequel that we will be getting for this movie? What <sighs> do you hope will be? Answered? I guess it's one of those things that, like, I never hoped like for never a sequel know? to it right. follows. So, um, I don't know. I mean. I have I got nothing for you. I mean, we know McKay, Micah Monroe is going to be back, and uh, yep. she's going to be running for her life again. And hopefully, yep. I guess what I'm hoping for is that they define it more, and mm-hmm. maybe he will. Maybe the sequel right. will be the one that opens it up and you know defines a little bit more of this thing. Uh, it's the answers to Especially the questions that are raised in the first coming one. Coming back, who would yeah. question it and want it more defined? Maybe Holly. What did there you think? Um, what was that? A uh, recommender or not? That was a recommender. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I enjoyed this movie. Um, I agree with you, Colin. I think it really does kind of fall apart in the third act. Um, a lot of problems, a lot of uncertainty. Um, but I, I'm with you that I it's not the rest of the movie solid enough that I'm still going to recommend it. Um, I think it's good. I don't think it's uh, nothing short of amazing or an instant classic or the best horror movie in over a decade. But I mean, it's pretty solid. I think smile did this better. Ooh. I really liked mm-hmm. smile. Um, it was a scarier yeah. version. Smile sure. is a scarier yeah, version. A and and that's right. why, that's yeah. why I liked it. It's, yeah, it's a scary. Yeah, yeah. Version. This isn't scary. No. Like it's unnerving. It's no, yeah. it's yeah, dread. Yeah. It's unnerving, but smile did it in a scary way, which I liked. Mm. That's a, that's a better movie. It's a solid movie. It has, it answers more questions. Um, it, even if it doesn't, it gives you more of a conclusion. Yeah, yeah. Smile yeah. is um, an easy recommend. Yeah. That was a smile yeah. is a good one. Horror movie, yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. As, as far as like a a, a complete movie, Smile. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is still a pretty good movie. Um, it's entertaining. It keeps it keeps it keeps you like uh, interacted with it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and recommend it. Um, but yeah, it does kind of fall apart in the third act, and it's it's not that it's not scary. It's just mm-hmm. unnerving. Um, in the sequel. I would like to see more lore. I would like to yes. see some like I, I want him to go full sequel. 
Right, like I want him to go. Like they have, they found an expert. He's like a professor Someone, at a college. Someone who's Vincent knows. D'Onofrio. I want. It. Bring back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, is the guy who knows. I want some crazy professor that no one believed him, but he knows right. everything but about this a thing. A little more backstory. Yeah, I want a backstory. Little more I want of lore. Like where this came yeah, from. That's what I want in the sequel. So yeah, that's what I got, Michaela. I do think the problem with this movie is that. In some instances, it prioritizes style over substance, right? Yeah. Like, um, it definitely has an aesthetic and a vibe with the music. I know people talk about the soundtrack a lot. I actually think the soundtrack's a little overrated. I think it's kind of doing too much at certain times. Yeah, it's kind of forgettable. Um, I think it's just because it's synth and no one had heard a synth horror score in a while in 2014. Yeah. And uh, so every now, every now and again, I'll be, I'll be yeah. walking in through my apartment going, I'll just sing in my head. So I think you're the only one. Um, But it's, it's like, I don't know. It's not a standout soundtrack to me. I, like I said, I think this movie just benefited from the year it came out in a lot. Um, We went over the stuff that it was as contemporaries, you know, Um, because this is like, yes, this movie is about like trauma and moral quandaries in kind of the same way the Babadook is, but this is an easier pill to swallow than the Babadook. That that is a fucking bleak movie compared to this. (laughs) So yeah, yeah. trauma with yeah. Babadook and you're just like eh. and this one's more f- fun to watch I guess it's just easier to watch just lighter easier. Um, but it, I do enjoy this movie I enjoyed it a lot when it first came out I do wish they would start taking that car to conventions like if I can meet Christine <laughs> I should be able like, to meet the It Follows Muscle car too right oh, you know is the great, yeah the, 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 the one on the car? cover oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, that's a cutlass yeah that's yeah. the just, second cutlass we've watched yeah, in a couple just weeks. bring it <laughs> why not you know I do I do like how prominent cars are in this movie you know we talked about off mic about how like that is so indicative of the age they're at the like the amount of sex and cars that happens in this movie but um I think I think this movie is not like Obviously, it's an STD allegory, but I also think it's a little bit about anxiety and social anxiety, too. Yeah. It's like when I'm walking my dog and I see someone walking right at me and wants to talk to me, I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. Like, right. I'm just that, trying to walk no, my dog, no, you know? There like, is that for people who have anxiety. Exa- there yeah. Is that planning of like, if you're out, you see the person. Yes. And you're like, they're going to come talk to me. Yeah. You're planning for that. Yeah. Like, but I mean, and you look at that and you're yeah. just like, what is that person? Yeah. I mean, we've, they... we've talked about this. On Even the if show. they're nothing. We've yeah. talked about this on the show before. Like, just, it's just the anxiety, the anxiety of like being a woman in yeah. public. Yeah. yeah. Having to and constantly being be on guard. Right. Yeah, like, exactly. Right. Always yes. looking around when you're pumping gas. Right. You know? Exactly. That kind of shit. So I, I think that like, yeah, like it, we talked about if you go a little bit deeper, there's themes to that as well. Um, I do like that how natural a lot of things feel about this, the setting, mm-hmm. the characters, the way they interact with each other. It feels natural. It doesn't feel forced. These feel like real early 20s yes. kids to me. Yeah. Um, and well, like weird circumstance, but very natural. Uh, right. That, yes. But I, and I wonder if that's just because like we don't see the Midwest represented very much. And this feels like a pretty accurate representation. But I really <laughs> enjoy that about it. Midwest. Yeah. I don't understand what the hell David Robert Mitchell is doing with his career because you you lost it now, man. Like, right. you the know, momentum. Like, yeah, it's, it's gone. Momentum to do something else. But also, maybe he didn't want to, I don't know. I don't know. You're right. You yeah. wonder what's in this man's mind. Right. Like, what do you want to do? Because as we talked about, this was a hit. But I will say this was like the people in my life that told me to watch it. Like you said, Colin, they were not horror people. Like mm-hmm. this really mm-hmm. hit with people that were not into horror. Yeah. Um, and I think that's because it's not particularly gory or scary. Mm-hmm. So it's easier for those people to digest. Yeah. But I'm still going to recommend it because there's a lot I like about it. And mm-hmm. I think it is. Uh, an interesting thing to watch and it's good to check up on it every once in a while so I'm going to recommend it Sean would you <laughs> it's it's good to follow up it's good to follow up right, yes. right yeah, yeah. yeah yeah it follows up is what, <laughs> what we'll call all of this yeah um, and I agree with uh, like everything you guys have said like there is a lot um, uh, I think there's a lot for each individual person to take away from this movie as they watch it uh, I do like this movie I like uh, I like what it does I like the soundtrack I like kind of the themes it is. I like the questions that are brought up for it because I like, um, I don't know if it makes it a good movie, but I like the conversation you can have around the movie. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot to talk about for it. All the questions yeah. of like, what is happening? What does this mean? Like, where can it go from here? I think that is uh, fascinating. We came. Uh, <laughs> this movie came out at a, a really weird moment, or uh, uh, we're revisiting it at a really weird moment where I can be like, I'm looking forward to see if my questions can be answered or what they can explore with the lore as we go forward. Uh, I, I definitely recommend It Follows. Um, soundtrack is good, too. 
I like this. Do we say disaster piece? I disaster think, do we piece. say that? disaster piece? Is, yeah. is it like yeah. a two person band or it's yeah. a one person? One guy. One yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think piece. the director um, really liked what he did for a uh, uh, a video game uh, soundtrack oh. back in the day, which it really feels like. I'm like that makes movie. sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it really does. Um, but yeah, I I do like this movie. I like the questions it brings up. I like the atmosphere. It you know. It it brings to us, and I would like to know more. Fortunately, we're getting that. So that's a I recommend it. That's a freak show recommend. There you I go. Need so to go to watch yeah. it follows if you haven't seen it already. You are, you are allowed to watch it follows. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. All right. Well, uh, what are we watching next week? We're watching a movie that's chosen by Holly. Mm. Ah, mm. what? And What's we, following we up? Liam yeah. Last <laughs> month. What are you bringing this yeah. time? So we've been in horror for a while. Because of oh, Halloween. Oh, should we not be? We're going to take a little break, oh. and we're going to watch Bunraku. What? Is it with uh, Josh Hartnett? Yes. Okay. Oh, what? No idea what this is. <laughs> Never even heard Bunraku? of it. Bunraku? Bunraku. Bunraku. Josh Hartnett, Woody Harrelson. Josh a, Hartnett. A world, a world full of crime where guns are not allowed, but swords are, and there's music. There's okay. dancing. <laughs> we're All watching right. it. Uh, right. sounds, sounds like a lot, and okay. I'm for it. Let's All right, do it, Bunraku. <laughs> Bunraku. Coming next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show, we hope you'll join One us. Year, uh, that's like 2010. Yeah. What? Oh, that's recent. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, we hope you'll like join us for Rod that. Perlman, Demi Moore. We're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> and very, very stylized. Very wow. stylized. All right. So that's next week on Saturday Night Freak Show. Thanks for listening. And uh, now the basement is going dark.